Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely and today I'm going to be sharing a house tour with you. Now, I didn't move to this house, but I spent some time there and I could not tell you how much I love it. So I knew I needed to share it with you guys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Keely. I'm 30 years old. I love home decor. I love holidays. I love traveling. I love sharing these kinds of things with you guys. And today we are sharing this beautiful cabin that I stayed in in Breckenridge, Colorado. I know I usually share a lot of home decor type stuff in my house, but I wanted to start sharing some of the house tours of the beautiful like Airbnbs and vacation places that I go to. I was not paid to stay in this house. I booked this house with my money and stayed here with some friends, but it was amazing. And I just think that this is a way to incorporate my love of travel with my love of home decor and put them together and share it with you guys. So if you're interested in going to Colorado, booking a cabin and staying somewhere that's snowy and has lots of things to do, then Breckenridge is the place for you. We booked this cabin on VRBO. I will link it down below for you guys to check out. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms, the most beautiful view I've ever seen, and it was in the middle of the mountain. We'll get to the house tour in just a minute, but first I wanna tell you guys some of the awesome things we did in Colorado. In case you're wondering, what the heck did you do in the snow for a week, Keely? So first we went snowmobiling. This was in Breckenridge. It was so cold. I definitely recommend getting really, really good snow boots, which I didn't do well enough before I got. We went snowboarding, which I've never done. I used to ski when I was a kid, but I never snowboarded. So here's a clip of me falling down the mountain, trying to snowboard. So there's your daily comic relief. You are welcome. But while we were in Colorado, we also went to some hot springs, which were beautiful. We went tubing, which was amazing amazing, super fun, and we ate a lot. <laughs> but Breckenridge is amazing. It's a small town in the Colorado mountains. It's snowy, it's beautiful. It looks like a freaking Hallmark movie. You would not regret going there. And even if you're not really into outdoor sports or like winter sports, there are plenty of wonderful places to sip a glass of wine by a fire, which is something I also did a lot. And that's all of the talking I'm gonna do. Let's go to Colorado and see this happen house because it was beautiful. All the vibes. So many vibes. The best vibes. Let's go. So welcome to Breckenridge, Colorado. Isn't it beautiful? At an elevation of over 10,000 feet. I can't decide if the views are this breathtaking because I can't breathe or because I'm actually in awe of this place. Probably both. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be sharing a few great tips and hacks I have found for traveling on a budget and having a great time, in addition to showing you guys this house. I'm always the person tasked with planning out trips for my friend groups, and I am totally okay with that. So let me share a little bit of inside knowledge with you guys. start on the main floor of the cabin. There's a living room, dining area, kitchen, and one bedroom on this main floor. Not to mention the beautiful wraparound deck with a grill, hot tub, and lots and lots of snow currently. It's honestly the vaulted ceilings and giant windows in this house for me. I could have just sit in the living room all day by the fireplace and spent my whole vacation doing that. For me, the best place to find a place to stay is gonna be on Airbnb or VRBO. You can find super awesome places that have all the comforts of home and it gives you the freedom to save money by cooking your own food for the majority of your meals. We usually only eat out once a day when we travel to save money. You can always find something in your budget that's better than a hotel in your budget, I promise. It does take a lot of time to look through them all, but you just gotta get in there and do the research. new here 
here, my name is Keely. I'm 30 years old and my middle name is really Rainbow. I make YouTube videos about home decor, holidays, DIYs, and I like to keep it real because honestly, I'm somewhere in between like a Pinterest mom and the Hot Mess Express. Um, I live in North Carolina. I have two daughters who are five and nine and I am married to my husband, Tim, who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here. I'm your new mom friend who will encourage you, give you great life hacks, and can find a wine that pairs well with microwave chicken nuggets. I would love to have you guys subscribe. I try to put up two videos per week here on YouTube, and I also post a lot on TikTok and Instagram. The first bedroom I'm gonna show y'all is downstairs. This is the room Tim and I stayed in, which has its own bathroom and a really amazing view too. I cannot imagine waking up to this view every single day, but I could sure get used to it. Although I'll be honest, it was incredibly cold here, so not so sure about all that. <laughs> tips to travel inexpensively are go with other people so you can split costs. We have a couple of couples that we travel with often and it helps so much. Cook two thirds of your meals at home. So like I said, only eat out like once a day. Be your own guide. You don't always have to take expensive tours to see all of the beautiful things. You can also plan out your vacation early enough that you can take advantage of paying things off over time. Airbnb and VRBO both have payment plan options. And do your research and plan out what you want to do and see ahead of time so you don't feel rushed into anything. You don't need a detailed itinerary, but you do need a plan. Another tip is to go before the season start. Uh, like, don't go skiing at a resort at Christmas and don't go to Florida during spring break. Look for other times. And only do one or two expensive things on your trip. For example, like going snowboarding or snowmobiling was one of the more expensive things in our Breckenridge trip. And when we went to Costa Rica, zip lining was an expensive thing. Don't get discouraged because you can't do it all. It's still worth going, even if you can't do something expensive every day. bottom floor of the house was another room that could be turned into a sleeping area and also had a bathroom. This would be perfect if you had kids with you because they could like come down here, play games, and watch TV. The house also has a heated garage, which I didn't show, which is key if you're going to be traveling somewhere in the snow. Don't waste your money on expensive souvenirs. We have one of the Polaroid cameras that prints out pictures. So every time when we travel, we take tons of pictures on them and that's how we keep our souvenirs. We don't really buy a lot of stuff to bring home, but I love looking back at the pictures and I love the idea of a like photo album or a scrapbook with tons of pictures and stuff from your travels that you can keep forever and always look back on. floor are the other two bedrooms and y'all are not going to believe this master bedroom. The windows, the view, just all of it was literally everything. Our friends Kristen and Parker stayed up here in this room. We, get, we often travel together and usually switch who gets the master when we travel so it was their lucky day to get this room. It also has its own private balcony and a bathroom.
The biggest tip is to research, which you're probably doing if you know, you're here looking for a place to stay in Colorado. That's my biggest tip. Read blogs about where you're gonna go, research other people's itineraries, look on TripAdvisor and Instagram. Don't just wing it. Come up with a plan with places you 100% need to see and read reviews. It takes time, but it's worth it. Don't just go off what a hotel or resort tells you. They're always gonna be trying to sell you something. Love the cozy rustic decor in this house. It gave me a lot of like Western vibes and it was so comforting and homey with the fireplaces and the wood. And they had so many great details from books to pictures that it just tied all the decor in together. It's always been a dream of mine to own a vacation rental. And if I had one in the mountains, this is exactly how I would decorate it. Can you imagine how beautiful this would be to decorate at Christmas too? That's like all I could think about. Maybe it was all the snow. beautiful beautiful cabin in Colorado like I said it's gonna be linked down below if you're looking for another video like this and you'd like to see home tours of all sorts of different houses in different places I'll link another one I've done up here and if you're still not subscribed please hit the subscribe button I would love to have you stick around and let me know where you're from down below all right I will see you guys next time in my next video if no one's told you today you're doing a great job I am proud of you and I'll see you guys next time bye